everybody and welcome back to Destiny Tracker. My name is KillerB61 and today we are going to be talking about the new exotic cold heart and a few cool things we saw at E3 this year. But before we get to that, I want to address something about our last video where we talked about the pre-order bonuses and I expressed how I don't like them being a part of the game. While I do get angry when discussing topics like this, it is in no way an open invitation for people to start attacking developers in the comments. I make these videos expressing my honest opinions because if I'm not honest with you and how I feel, then I shouldn't be surprised when things don't change. But that being said, no matter what level of salt, you should always be respectful because even though you may not agree with the practices of a company, I understand that deals like these are necessary so that at the end of the day, we can get a sequel to the game we love so dearly and they can get paid a decent salary. The anger I expressed in the video was not necessarily directed at Bungie, it was directed at the gaming industry as a whole. I've been a gamer for a long time, and those kinds of things we discussed are starting to become the trend for major companies like Sony, and that is what I'm upset about. We have an amazing community here on the channel. I just wanted to say publicly that yes, we can get passionate about things, but at the end of the day, we're all one big family that loves you guys and we love this game. So, now, that being said, back to a high note, let's get back to the video. At E3, we finally learned the name of this bad boy right here, Coldheart. We don't know for sure what it does, but it is some kind of fusion rifle, and it seems to have a similar visual design as these cannons the Cabal Colossus have now. It looks big, it looks bad, and it looks scary, and I can't wait to have one. But the real star of the show right now is the new linear fusion rifle we got a peek of, because we know a little bit more about this. The major difference between this new linear fusion rifle and the old fusion rifles we are used to is rather than firing 7 bolts in a spread pattern one after another, the linear fusion rifle will fire all 7 of the bolts at once in a straight line. So rather than being a shotgun, it is more like a sniper rifle. This gun looks so sexy. I think Vice will be my new favorite weapon foundry because I have yet to see a gun that isn't beautiful that's made by them. I'm almost jealous of the people that got to play with this gun because I honestly haven't seen a weapon like this in any other game before. It's totally unique to Destiny. Same thing just like fusion rifles. Linear fusion rifles seem to be a unique take on a new weapon type. Anyway, that is my time, guys. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Leave a like on the video to let us know if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment at the bottom what you think about these new weapon types. And uh, what do you think Cold Heart is going to do? Will it be more like the Sleeper Simulants? Or is it going to be something completely different? Once again, guys, my name is KillerV61. Have a great day, Guardian. And I will see you in the next one.